If you want to ditch the controllers and learn how to use hand tracking in your VR app, then you've come to the right place. Adding hand tracking to your VR app will make it more immersive and allow the users to use their bare hands to interact with things in VR. If you want to learn how to do that, please stick around until the end. To start off, you need the Oculus integration package. You can get that from the Unity Asset Store, and I'll put the link for it in the description. You can also watch a video that I made on how to set it up, and I'll also put the link in the description. So after you get it and you import it, you will have the Oculus folder, as you can see in the assets. And then from there, we have our basic scene setup over here. We just have a scene with a floor and a directional light, and we're gonna be adding our stuff to it. So the first thing that we wanna search up is the Oculus Interaction Sample Rig. And that's gonna be a prefab that comes with the Oculus integration. And we're gonna drag it into our scene. From there, we're gonna go under it. And we're gonna go into the OVR camera rig. And then go to general. And we wanna put hands only or controller in hands. And then we wanna put high for the hand tracking frequency in order to make it more accurate. Then we're gonna go under input OVR and go to the left hand and under hand interactors left, we're gonna look up hand grab interactor. And then from there, we're gonna add it under our hand interactor left. I'm gonna rename it to hand grab interactor left. And then for the hand reference, we wanna drag our left hand into that. Now we wanna do the same thing for the right hand. So all we're gonna do is copy it, go to the right hand and paste this child. And then from there, just rename it and make sure to put the right hand as the reference. Now that we're done, we can go to the next step, which is making the actual objects that we're gonna be grabbing. So we're gonna start with a sphere and we're going to call it sphere grab. And from there, we're going to scale it down to 0 0.05 for all X, Y, and Z. And then for the position, we're going to set it to Y 0.8, Z 0.5, and that's it. And this sphere is going to be the one where we want a certain action or thing to happen when we grab it. And that's why we called it sphere grab. So now we want to add a couple of components to it. So we're going to go to the material first of all and change this material to any material that we want just to make it stand out a little bit. And then from there, we're going to add the necessary components, which is going to be a rigid body. We're going to set it to kinematic and turn off use gravity. And then after that, we're going to add grabbable and also the hand grab interactable. From there, we're going to drag that object itself into the pointable element. And now we have our basic setup for an object that you can grab with the uh, trackable hands. Then we're going to copy and paste it and call the second object sphere color. And we're going to move it a bit to the side. And we're going to be using this sphere in order to display how you can change color when you hover over a certain object with your hands or when you select it. So we're going to put around the material that we have. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and add some of the scripts to the grab and also to the color in order to make them work like we want them to. So the first thing is the grab and we're going to add a script called pointable unity event wrapper. And then we're going to go under it and then into the pointable element, we want to add the object itself and then we're going to select the grabbable. And then as you can see, you have a bunch of events and we're going to go to the when select 
and when unselect and those are basically going to activate when we grab the object and then when we let it go so for both of these we're going to go and add the object itself and go to the mesh filter dot mesh and we're going to change the mesh to something different so we're going to change it to a cube mesh and then when we leave it we're going to put it back to a sphere mesh just to display how we can add events when we grab or let go of the object. Second, we're going to go to the color object. And from there, we're going to add a script called interactable color visual. And also material property block editor and interactable group view. And then from there, we're going to add some stuff to these components. For the first one, we're going to drag the object itself. And then from there, we're going to select the second one. And then again, also for the editor, and that one is just going to do it by itself. Next, we're going to go to the material property block editor, and it already added the mesh renderer for us. And then we're going to go to the interactable group view and add an interactable to the interactables list. And then we're going to drag the object itself into it. Now we can go into our interactable color visual and for the normal state we're just going to leave it at white which is normal. For hover we want to change the color to something else so let's just change it to blue when we hover over it with our hand. And then lastly for select we're going to change it into a different color let's change it to purple when we're actually grabbing the object. So now we're done with these two. And we're going to go ahead and create three more objects for different uses. So we're going to create a cube and also make it into the same scale, 0 0.05. And we're going to copy that into all X, Y, and Z. And then we're going to go ahead and add the necessary components. So again, a rigid body that is kinematic and doesn't use gravity. A grabbable and a hand grab interactable. And there we're going to add the cube to the pointable element as well. And then from there, we're going to rena rename this cube to cube one hand because we're going to be uh, changing the settings so you can only grab it with one hand. And then from there, we're just going to go ahead and make two more copies for different purposes. The second cube is going to be called cube pinch. And that's because we're only going to be able to grab it by pinching it. And the third one is going to be called cube palm because we're only going to be able to grab it by palming it or just grabbing it and pinching won't work on that one. So let's move around our other spheres just to separate these two categories and then for the cube one hand we're going to change the material to blue for the cube pinch we're going to change the material to red and for the cube palm we're going to change the material to green So let's start with the one-handed grab. So in order to do that, what we need to do is add another component and it's going to be called hand grab point. And from there, as you can see, it says handness and we can choose left or right. And if you choose, let's say right, then we're only going to be able to grab it with our right hand. And then we're going to go back to our script and put refresh hand grab points and it's going to add it for us. And now we're ready for that one. Next is a cube pinch. All you have to do is go to the hand grab interactable and deselect palm. And as you can see, you only have pinch. So we're only going to be able to pinch it. And for the palm one, as you can imagine, you just have to deselect the pinch and leave the palm and we won't be able to grab it by pinching. We're now ready to go and test in the headset. Now that we're in the headset, we can see that our hands are being tracked correctly and we can go ahead and test our objects. 
So for the first sphere, when we hover over it, it turns to blue, and when we grab it, it turns to purple, just like we put in the script. For the second sphere, when we grab it, it turns into a cube, just like we put in the other script, and when we let go, it turns back into a sphere. Now for the first cube, we're only able to grab it with our right hand. So when we try with our left, it doesn't work. And this can be used for weapons or items that you want the user to grab with one hand only. For the second cube, we can only grab it by pinching it, and a regular grab would not work. And lastly, for the third cube, we can only grab it by palming it or by grabbing it regularly, and we can't pinch it. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe, and let me know in the comments if you want more hand tracking or hand interaction videos. Thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.